Hello. Uh, I thought I'd go through um, some sprite effects or you know special effects that you can attach to sprites. The reason being is that you know in most games, if an enemy takes damage, they'll they'll flash you know white or red or some kind of thing. And you know if it's a pickup that you can pick up, <laughs> uh, it might be hovering or you know doing a little up and down kind of effect. And I kind of want to show how you can apply that in Pygame in a reusable way so that you're not like drowning in your own tech debt. Um, so that's like the main thing is how can we make it maintainable and also applicable to like any sprite uh, is the focus of this video. So um, if we go down here and we'll just look at like what I'll be applying it to. So we've got this slug here going left and right and just kind of make note of that because he's about to change in a sec. Okay, so now you can see we've applied this effect to this sprite and you know all the behavior is exactly the same. Um, if I hit him, he's going to kill me. If I explode him with a bomb, he's going to die, that kind of thing. But he has this weird up and down motion uh, kind of glue to him. Uh, I'm just going to show one more example to kind of like nail the point home on making something modular so that you can apply it to different things. So if just bear with me and I'll get like one more demo up. Okay, so hopefully at this point you can kind of see what, what it is I'm talking about. And if you can't, I think you are blind. Um, and the, the, the cool thing to note about this is you can see that the slug is actually going up and down quite fast. The bushes are going down like a medium rate and the, the bombs that you can pick up uh, are actually going up and down quite slow. So we're just going to kind of dive into the code and show how this works. Cool. Okay. So this is the code for the hover effect. Um, I'm showing these effects, but I don't want you to focus on the fact it's a hover effect. I more just want you to focus on how it's being applied to kind of any arbitrary sprite. So if we just go through line by line, that's like the easiest thing to do. So got a class called hover, self-explanatory. Uh, if you don't know OOP at this point, you should go and bail out and read or watch videos on it because you are not going to understand any of this. Or if you do, it's not going to be like the best grasp. So come back once you've seen that and understand it. Um, then we've got a constructor and this is basically the most important part of it. So we've got self obviously, and then this is the, the golden line is sprite. So this is the parent, uh, or you know the the sprite that the effect belongs to. So the effect knows how to modify things about that sprite. So they're as loosely coupled as they can be, but you know there is still this coupling because this horror effect has to know stuff about the sprite. There's no way around that, uh, or as far as I can tell, anyway. Um, so yeah, as loosely coupled as they are, but you know there's still going to be some. And then we've got the speed and the radius, which are documented below. And that is how fast to move it up and down. Like you saw before, the slug was going like super fast, the bomb was going slow. And then the radius, which I didn't change on any, um, they go up and down like an equal amount. So carrying on the line by line, we ignore these three because we know what they are. And then we've got this original Y here. Uh, so for the hover effect in particular, we want to know you know, we need to keep its original Y because once it's gone up, we need to know uh, where was it before? You have to keep it, otherwise you're just gonna lose it. It's gonna go up and down, but where? And then accumulated time, we use this as like an incrementer. I don't know the maths name for it, but um, yeah, we basically create like a sine wave um, with the delta time and then apply that to whatever sprite we're using. So um, here, line 22, is like the the golden ticket if you will so self.sprite which is the parents and then the rect y so we're always modifying that sprites rect y and then um once you've got this effect plugging it in is actually is like a two-line job so if we go to the aptly named enemy walkable <laughs> we can see here is the effect here so um ignore all the underlines for uh, all the linting errors Apparently I am a bad programmer. Um, so yeah, we've got this effect here, line 44, that I've uh, got highlighted. So it's defining the effect, and then we're passing through self, which in this case is our slug, and a speed of 20. And then all that you have to do is in the update method of the slug, just call the effect. So right at the end, we call the effect, and that's it. And that's all you have to do for the others. So for example, I had the bush, float, bush going up and down, if you remember that. So same thing. Yeah, you know, it's got a slower speed of eight, but all it does is call that effect. And same with the bomb, got the effect, and you know it's at four speed. So um, 
yeah, I mean, that's all there is to it, I guess. Like the, the, the most important thing is that you kind of, if you separate out all of your effects and make them kind of follow the same interface, um, Python is probably not great for this because it's not really built around OOP, is it? It's not, it's not an OOP language, like it supports it, but it's not its like main selling point. Um, but either way, you know, try and build it under the same interface so then you can have all manner of different effects. So I do actually have other effects in here, but you know, for, for the sake of purpose of this video, just showing the hover is enough. Um, and yeah, just to recap, this is kind of what we covered today. And um, as you can see, progress with Mr. Figs is going quite well. Um, mechanics are getting there, especially for the first stage, which is this one. Um, yeah, so that's why there haven't been many videos out because I've just been working on this game quite a lot. Um, but anyway, hopefully you found something useful out of this video. Uh, feel free to like, comment, blah, 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 all that stuff. And um, hopefully I'll see you again soon.